Yes, Zelda Wii U has us all excited, or at least it used to. The game was originally slated to be released in 2015 with promises from Eiji Aonuma and Nintendo that this game was developing on schedule and that a 2015 release was on track. Until Eiji Aonuma decided to delay the game back in early 2015. Now delays to Zelda games aren't something new. In fact, there's something to be expected. Now I've got no problems with delays. I've got a problem with the overall lack of information when it comes to Zelda Wii U. Shortly after the delay announcement, Nintendo confirmed that due to this delay, Zelda Wii U will not make an appearance at E3 2015. Zelda Wii U's lack of presence at the event sorely hurt Nintendo. Star Fox Zero was not up to par to compete with the other big guns that every other company was showing off. I'm looking at you, Fallout 4 and Kingdom Hearts 3. After the event, Nintendo released an official release calendar that listed Zelda Wii U as a 2016 release, confirming the delay out of 2015. Fast forward a couple of months later, in Nintendo's second quarterly report, they had a list of expected 2016 releases. And Zelda Wii U was nowhere to be found. When we actually found the mysterious, that's right, mysterious, Zelda Wii U, it is now listed under TBD for To Be Determined. And yes, I am aware of the famous Wired article that says the game was not pushed out of 2016. I'm not saying that. However, they did say that Nintendo never listed the game for 2016. Maybe they should do a bit more research before they put up some info. Seems like they want to be on the edge of the news when everyone else was reporting the true scoop. Now after all my ranting and raging for the fact that we hardly know anything about this title, I've decided to seek some much needed emotional therapy and decide to chill and bring you this video explaining the issue with Zelda Wii U. A quick disclaimer for the comments section before you pull out the famous quote, a delayed game will eventually be good and a rush game will be bad forever by the great Miyamoto, let me clear the air. I'm not mad at delays particularly, I've powered through delays time and time again. What I'm bothered by is the lack of information about Zelda Wii U tied to its delays. Nintendo, where's the confidence? Also, that quote doesn't really apply to every game. A delayed game can still prove to be quite the horrid experience, and Majora's Mask, a game heralded by millions, was made in little over a year, so yeah, consider that. The Legend of Zelda for Wii U's development truly has many befuddled. Aside from the short explanations and hints when it comes to the game's mechanics and scope, and the two teasers we got in 2014, we know nothing about this game. Not a storyline, not a timeline placement, no in-depth gameplay or extended look at the game's features. Hell, we don't even have a freaking name at this point, and we don't even have a release date. But why? Why is Nintendo so hell-bent on dragging us around and keeping the game beneath the curtain? What really gets me ticked off is that Reggie Fizzleme even confirmed that they have a ton of footage at E3 2015 in an interview with GameSpot, and that they have many opportunities to show it off. There is a notion that the tragic passing of Nintendo president Satoru Iwata may have had a hand in this. However, being the president of a company, he would have multiple ties to many Nintendo products. And if this was truly the case, then the company's production and showcasings will be at a standstill. Besides, this situation has been going long before Iwata's passing. May he rest. With Nintendo's track record of 3D console Zelda games, Zelda Wii U's case is exponentially peculiar. The reason being is that Zelda Wii U's lack of information is something that Nintendo hasn't done with the past Zelda games. Delays are expected, but what makes delays sting a lot less is the information that Nintendo provides of each game. Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword all received extreme delays from their target release window. However, we received information and a name of the games during the development. Screenshots, trailers, anything and everything was acceptable, but with Zelda Wii U, we are getting none of that. Why? A common thought that seems to get louder and louder is that Zelda Wii U is going to receive the Twilight Princess treatment. They of course are referring to the dual release of Twilight Princess on the GameCube as it was intended to be and as a launch title for the Wii. So Zelda Wii U may end up being Zelda NX as well. If this would prove true, then Nintendo may intentionally be holding the game's release back in order to give Nintendo, codename NX, a much needed boost as a launch title and release the game on the Wii U at the same time. Hey, I'm good with delays, but a business tactic like that doesn't rub me the right way. Like, where's the love for the Wii U owners? We were promised this game on this console. This isn't the same situation for the people who bought a PS3 expecting Kingdom Hearts 3. There was never a confirmation, people. I know it sucks, but get over it. Something else that also has me uneasy is the focus Nintendo is giving to the Nintendo 3DS and the new Nintendo 3DS. While the Wii U has yet to get a true Zelda title, it only has a remake and a spin-off. While the 3DS already has one true Zelda title, two remakes, a spin-off, and another new title on the way, pushing the 3DS to four Zelda titles and an approved port of Hyrule Warriors, while the Wii U is pretty dry. What this tells me is that Nintendo may be trying to turn our attention away from Zelda Wii U in general. Look, I love Zelda, but looking at Triforce Heroes and Hyrule Warriors Legends, those titles look good but they seem, I would say, unnecessary. 
Triforce Heroes is a multiplayer-centric game without an overworld, and Hyrule Warriors Legends is merely an updated port of Hyrule Warriors. Like, really? I mean, why all of this focus on the 3DS and not the Wii U? It's becoming more and more apparent that Nintendo may be losing confidence in its own system, and it's ready to give NX that boost that the Wii U never had. But don't they know that Zelda sells consoles? I promise you that if and when Zelda Wii U drops, that game will move systems. Who wants to put money on it? Speaking about the NX situation, it seems that the gaming community is divided on the game having a dual release. There are people that feel wronged for investing or believing in the Wii U, thinking they were going to get Zelda Wii U, especially since Nintendo seemed to be so sure about the game's release on the console. While on the other side of the coin, there are those who believe that Nintendo could do with a fresh start on the NX and that Zelda Wii U shouldn't be barred by outdated technology. Now how do I feel? Now see here folks. We have virtually no information on the NX, no information on its specs, its power, or in what way it could trump the Wii U. The Wii U is a very capable system, so saying that Zelda Wii U would be brought down by lesser tech without any information on the NX doesn't make any sense. Besides, Nintendo said that Zelda Wii U will still be released on the Wii U, so we shouldn't worry about that, and that the Wii U will still receive support even after the release of the NX, but that still doesn't rule out the possibility of a dual release. Zelda Wii U was originally planned for a 2015 release, and Nintendo has repeatedly said that the game was on track once upon a time. For a game that was originally set for 2015, and now that the year is more than halfway complete to not have any information surrounding it, hell, we don't even have a name! That is more than odd. What could Nintendo be planning for this game? Are they reworking the game completely from what we've seen already? That could be a reason as to why they didn't show anything at E3 2015. Edge Onuma said that Nintendo was ready to show something of the game at the event, even hinting that it was going to be in a playable capacity before he pulled the plug. It would be completely contrary to not show anything related to Zelda Wii U at gaming's biggest event, unless something drastic was happening to the game's development. Nintendo's statement of only showing games that they see releasing within the next 6 months after E3 is downright contradictory in a business standpoint and Nintendo's own history at E3, so that doesn't fly with me. On the flip side, it could very well be that Nintendo is waiting for an opportune time to explode with information about Zelda Wii U at a time that will probably be closer to its release date as a type of sweet and sour surprise. Nintendo has definitely done it before, but if that is the case, we may not even get any information about the game until next year. Knowing Nintendo being the ninjas that they are, Zelda Wii U is probably going to be pushed back as far as late 2016 the holiday season in order to capitalize on E3 2016 and Zelda's 30th anniversary. As of late, Nintendo seems to be content with showing off some of their flagship titles very close to their projected release, including Star Fox Zero, Majora's Mask 3D, Triforce Heroes. I really hope they aren't thinking about using this route for Zelda Wii U. I mean, we've known about games like Super Mario Maker, Yoshi's Woolly World, Xenoblade Chronicles X, and Super Smash Bros. for a long time before their release, with details and news coming from these titles. So it really makes you wonder, 2016 or 2017 release? With their track record, the only thing that is certain is that Nintendo is going to throw us a curveball. Like, we didn't get this kind of BS with Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword, so why now? In Nintendo's defense, Zelda Wii U does look like it's going to be a heavy undertaking in terms of creation. From what we've seen, Nintendo is building this game from the ground up, totally from scratch. What I mean by that is that all prior Zelda 3D console titles have had help in terms of assets or direction since Ocarina of Time. Majora's Mask used a ton of assets from Ocarina of Time and the same engine. Wind Waker took Ocarina of Time's foundation and built upon that. Twilight Princess used a heavily modified Wind Waker engine, and Skyward Sword used and reworked many assets from Twilight Princess. So for Zelda Wii U, I can see them having a grand time with developing the nitty gritty. What Nintendo doesn't seem to understand is that the lack of info from Zelda Wii U is showing many people in the industry a lack of faith within themselves and a lack of faith for the Wii U. In turn, the faith from many fans who bought the Wii U and those who need a reason to buy the Wii U is running dry, rapidly. Not only that, analysts, investors, journalists have all commented negatively as they are bewildered as I am on the issue. Many people like to draw the scapegoat and say that we should cut Nintendo some slack and that delays aren't an issue and we should be patient. Delays aren't an issue, the issue is a lack of information, and Nintendo has said multiple times they have tons of great footage, but they're not showing it. Why the hell not? Does Nintendo not understand the situation they've put themselves in with Zelda Wii U? Well, at least you know, and knowing is half the battle. 
Thank you for partaking in my video, and I'd like to know what you guys think about the development of Zelda Wii U and its mysterious future in the gaming industry. Please like, share, favorite, comment what you think, and most importantly, subscribe to HMK for more Zelda Wii U videos. And until the next one, keep the comments going, keep the conversation going, stay hype, stay hectic, and I will check you guys later.